so you're not gonna eat any real food for mummy? No? Come on, try some of this. Yummy, mm. yummy, good girl. So the struggle to get my one year old, almost one year old, to eat is so real. I was hoping by the time she turned one, she'd be eating properly. You guys, my patience is wearing very thin with this child. But hey, that's how it is, right? Today is Monday, the 16th of January. And I woke up this morning, I saw the date, and I was like, that is so crazy that this was actually Ava's due date. Like, she would have actually been born on this day if she if she had listened and wasn't so stubborn. <laughs> um, and I just remember walking up and down this street one year ago today, like, just praying that today was going to be the day because I was, you know, you guys remember, I was so over my pregnancy towards the end, as most of us do get. I was just so desperate for her to come out and she just wouldn't budge. Nope, you just wouldn't budge, honey. You gave no sign of coming and now look at you, a fully grown, almost one year old. You're just so cute. You know? Okay. I don't want you to grow up, Ava. Can we just cuddle for a little bit? Yeah. Oh, she said yeah. Oh, darling, you're so cute. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's giving me proper hugs. Oh, I die. And a kiss. And a kiss. And still my glasses, of course. To mommy, please. Oh my gosh. Give it to mommy, please. Give to mommy. Give to mommy. Thank you. See how mad she was? Is she had to give him back there? Thank you. We are wearing floral crowns at Ava's birthday. I ordered one online for her and it came this morning. And it's not very pretty, you guys. So I'm thinking I might fix it, do some DIY to it or something. Oh, but it looks so cute on you. Why do you make everything look cute, Ava? No, uh, uh, uh. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It looks so cute. Oh, okay. Yeah. I knew this would happen. Ready? <coughs> oh gosh, I'm too slow. <coughs> Ooh, score. One score for mummy. No scores for you. Do you guys see that? That right there is a dragonfly. I don't think they're harmful or anything, but they just look super weird. Look at his body, it's like a stick with wings. <gasps> it's a broken heart, it's a broken heart, it's a broken heart, it's a broken heart. Is this music like okay for you? What do you mean? Is the that... sound, the volume, is it good? It could be a little louder, I guess. Of course, it could be a little louder to you. Can you turn it down? You guys, I am 120%. Yeah, I'm doing like the Maury. I'm 1000% sure, Maury. Maury, I'm 1000% sure. I hope you're 120% sure she's mine. I'm 120% sure that you are deaf, my husband. You need to literally go and get your ears checked because that music is so loud. I, I don't want to wake up no, and no, no, no. feel like... I'm 120% sure she's old. She's too old. That's no, no, why no, she thinks the music is loud. No, no, no. She's you, old. Your music is so loud. I don't want to walk out of my bedroom and feel like I've just walked into a club at 2 p.m. Yeah, like, that's not... Definitely. Too that's old. just not... Too like, old. I'm not about Sorry, that life. Your mum's really old. No, man. You need to really get your ears checked. All those years working in the club and everything, I think that really messed your ears up for real. So I'm, I'm wearing like really minimal makeup today because I'm off to go and shoot with my friend Jen. You guys know she's a makeup artist. Um, she has got her own company called Jank Makeup and she's going to go do my makeup for like a photo shoot for her portfolio. So I was like, yeah, sure. We could burn my face for one afternoon. So I'm going to go do that with her. I think Phoebe will be there as well because she finishes work early today. Um... Not sure what these two are gonna get up to. Probably have like a fun daddy daughter day as always. Yeah, we're gonna crank the music and have fun. Of course, you guys are. Old ass mum is gone. Gonna get crunk, aren't we, Ava? So I just arrived at location. Jen and Phoebe are running a little bit late, so I'm just waiting for them. And I was like telling, I called Phoebe before and I was like, I'm here already. And she's like, what? Because, you know, I'm never on time. I'm always at least like 15 minutes late. This book is called I Love My Daddy. 
I love my daddy because he's big and strong. I love my daddy because he's clever. See, that's you and that's daddy. I love my daddy because he keeps me safe and cozy. Yeah, look, we're penguins. I love my daddy because he plays with me. I love my daddy because he carries me. I carry you too much, I think. But I know you love me for it. I love my daddy because he's handsome. Is daddy handsome? Jeez, way to make a guy feel good about himself, Ava. I'm not the greatest looking guy in the world, but jeez. Didn't need to make that big a fuss when I asked you. You could have just pretended. Look, that's you. Cool girl curls. God bless this flesh till I cross my death. I bench press my stress, get it off my chest. Skinny dude, a buck 40, no muscles on, but still strong. It's my beats that got the muscle tone. Best protect your neck whenever I cut the song. Get whiplash without a seatbelt bucked along. Came from the golden age of music to motivate you. Team started jackets and black Motorola pages. Got all my cleaning done, and Ava didn't particularly like being put in baby jail again. So to make up for it, I want to take it to the park. But she's trying to take her shoes off already. Honey, honey, you need to keep these on so that you can play at the park, okay? Hey, your friend's back. <laughs> you thought he had gone. <laughs> I think he's got a fan. Wow, look at you. She's she's standing. Wow, look at you, Ava. You want this for dinner? You like this one? All right, I probably shouldn't be letting you try this. First milkshake. It's enough sugar and coloring for one day, okay? Oh God, what have I started? She's literally begging for more. All right, just a little bit, okay? What have I just done? Came down to the football field to burn off some of this hyperactive energy, didn't we, Ava? <laughs> Look at her go, she's like the energizer bunny. I'm gonna give in and give her the bottle. I lost this one. Honey, I just don't understand why it's such a struggle to feed you solids. Can't be on the bottle forever, okay? You did so good the other day. Why are you being so naughty today? So Ava's asleep, Nikki's out, the whole house to myself. I don't know, tonight I've just been really missing my old career. I've been missing shooting music videos. Don't get me wrong, I love what I do now. I love being a stay-at-home dad. I love getting to see absolutely every day of my daughter's life. But at times I miss that creative buzz that I used to get when I was shooting music videos or when I was touring. To be honest, I feel like the thing that I'm missing the most is the social aspect. I've been feeling a little bit stale when it comes to creativity. I feel like I'm not pushing the envelope. I know a lot of people are just gonna be like, well, why don't you do both? You have the world's easiest job right now. I feel like a lot of people who aren't YouTubers don't actually realize how much work goes into being a full-time YouTuber. It's sort of like, I can do one or the other. Realistically, I couldn't go on like a two week tour. I couldn't, you know, go on like a, a, a four, four day music video shoot. 
with like a, you know, like two, three week edit and do this. Like it's sort of, it, it's like there's one or the other. And the reality is I prefer this. I prefer doing this than that. I've got an amazing life, but even when, when you have an amazing life, even when everything's going the way that you want it to go, at the end of the day, we're all human. We all have our down days. Even if you're happy, even if everything is going the way that you want it to go, sometimes you just have those down days where you do, you miss certain aspects of your old life. And it's okay to feel like that. It's okay to have a down day where you just don't feel yourself because that's life. We all go through emotional ups and downs and I guess I just wanted to express my down like tomorrow I'll probably just wake up and be like why was I even feeling down yesterday and I just felt like venting because the camera was there and I, I'm too cheap to invest in a therapist so instead I wanted to talk to you guys because you guys have always had my back you guys always show us love and I just just wanted to be real today so it's about What's the time? Quarter to 11? Like quarter to 11. That went for and a we, while. We just got done. About to head home. Thanks, Jen, for having me as your little muse today. Yeah, thanks for coming. Appreciate it. Thanks, Phoebe, for being the assistant. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Thank you. you, Paul. Thanks, squad. Thank you. oh, you're welcome. Well, that's the end of today's vlog. Um, to be honest, I was going to cut that last scene of me out because I just felt like I sounded like I was complaining and I really hate bringing negativity into these vlogs. And at the last minute, I decided, you know what? I'm going to keep that in because it's human. I mean, we all have down days. It doesn't matter if we're somebody who's generally happy or maybe we're someone who's not. It's just a part of being human to have days where you just feel down over silly things or big things. Um, but the trick is to not fixate on that and to be able to get through that and remind yourself that tomorrow is a completely brand new day. And that's what I did today. I woke up with a, a positive mind state and I'm back to my normal self. Like I just had a down day yesterday. I don't even know why I was choosing to fixate on, on unattainable things. It's just the way that I was feeling yesterday and today I just reminded myself about how much I love what I'm doing right now and if the situation was flipped and I was back to shooting music videos and touring full time, I would be thinking, man, I wish I could spend more time with my family and doing what I'm doing now. And I just wanted to speak to any of you who may be having a down day today. Maybe you know why you're feeling down. Maybe you just woke up and you just felt down and you didn't even really know why you did. And then you started looking for reasons to feel down and you're like, what's wrong with me? Like, honestly, everybody has those days. And the trick is to just say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna allow myself to feel down for a little bit and tomorrow is gonna be a brand new day and I'm gonna wake up and anything can happen. I just want you guys to know that we're not perfect. Like I'm not the perfect dad, Nikki's not the perfect mom, we're not the perfect couple or whatever. We're a normal couple, we're normal parents, we're people who love one another and that's how we get through life because of that love. And that love is what gets us through our down days. And I just want you guys to know that love is out there and it's going to help you guys get through those down days as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be like a, a romantic love. It could be the love that you get from your friends. It could be the love that you get from your parents, your school teachers, or even the thought of meeting that person that you're going to love one day. As silly as it sounds, that is enough to make you happy. It's something that I used to think about back in my single days. I used to think about how I want to be happy for the person who I'm one day going to meet because if I'm not happy for them, how can I expect them to be happy for me? Anyway, I'm really sorry to get all, you know, philosophical, but that's how I feel.